So let's talk in the science of what's happening during menopause. The first thing that happens is estrogen declines. And why does that affect weight? But as fertility declines and as estrogen declines, our body actually increases visceral fat. So there's two different types of fat on our body. One is subcutaneous fat, the pinchable fat. It's helpful for our body's temperature regulation. And then we have visceral fat. It's actually the fat that's typically in our abdomen and intertwined with our organs. And this is a fat that's not very healthy for us. And oftentimes the visualization is men walking on the beach and they have these round distended bellies that look like they're hard to the touch. It becomes really really hard because it's not that subcutaneous fat, but it's really intermingled. So as estrogen declines, visceral fat goes up and visceral fat is the more dangerous type of fat that increases risk of cardiovascular disease. And there is a lot that we can do to protect our heart. Estrogen actually helps decline our appetite. When estrogen goes down, our appetite goes way up. Oftentimes that's when we have more food cravings and just eating more volume in general. The third thing that happens is muscle mass starts going down and bone mass starts going down. And it takes up a lot of energy to keep our muscles strong. I always think about it. It's so much work to put muscle mass on our body and we can get rid of it so quickly. Muscle mass is a huge driver of our total basal metabolic rate, so of our metabolism. And we want to be optimizing our muscle mass to the best of our abilities, but that will go down too, making it so our body needs less energy. And when we're eating the same amount and our appetite is up, that oftentimes leads us to gain more fat on our body. We didn't even talk about like the mood disturbances, the sleep disturbances, the hot flashes that affect so many people. So of course, when we're not sleeping very well, we're more tired and that makes it so much more difficult to want to go outside and exercise and want to do more walking and wanting to get more physical activity in. And also, as we know, increased stress and lack of sleep increases cortisol, which is another key hormone to the puzzle that makes our body want to store more fat, want to keep our blood glucose levels a little bit higher. And so if you find this helpful, please subscribe to the menopause newsletter by the link below. It has tips and facts about menopause that can really help you on your journey.